All right, now look at five things to know as you head out the door this morning. Police in Old Town are asking for help finding 87 year old Wayne Dion. They say he was last seen at his home in Old Town Wednesday morning around 830. He was leaving for an appointment in Augusta, but never made it there and has not been seen since. Police say Dion suffers from cognitive issues and describe him as five foot six, 200 pound with with gray hair and blue eyes. They add that he wears glasses and has a birthmark on the side of his face. He's reportedly driving a Dodge pickup with license plate 1002 SR. If you see Dion, you're asked to call the Old Town Police Department. The new state law requiring a 72 hour waiting period for gun purchases takes effect tomorrow and officials have released some guidelines to help people understand the new rules. There are some exemptions. People can sell firearms to their family members without waiting 72 hours and gun dealers are allowed to sell guns to known law enforcement and corrections officers without waiting. You can find the full guidelines documented on the Maine Department of Public Safety's website under the Safe Homes Program tab. And the Board of Selectmen in the town of Mexico has voted to place the department there on idle status starting on August 20th. That's because the department cannot hire enough officers. The town's police chief says he's just one of four employees, two of which recently submitted their letters of resignation, while the other is applying for a job elsewhere. The chief says the department has been short staffed for more than a year now. The Oxford County Sheriff's Office will take over patrols and the county's regional communication center will handle Mexico's emergency calls. The town of Mexico plans to hold an informational meeting on August 13th to discuss these changes. Voters can now request absentee ballots for the November election. You can request one online or by filling out an application and sending it to your city clerk. The deadline to request one is October 31st. Ballots will be sent out in October. Your voter registration must match your current address and you can request an absentee ballot, update your registration and find more voter information online at maine.gov. And a Maine Little League team is just one win away from punching their ticket to the Little League World Series. The 11 and 12 All-Stars from Portland have won their first two games of the tournament and have only let up one run. They take on New Hampshire tonight at 7 p.m. You can watch that game on ESPN, but if you want to get together with some other fans, Portland's Little League board is hosting a watch party at Loring Field. Maine has only made the Little League World Series four times in history, but most recently, just last year, Gray New Gloucester went on a run. Super fun. All right, Dana, can we get one last check of the weather from you? Yes, we can. I think we have a really nice day coming up. In my opinion, it's going to be the pick of the week. A little bit more cloud cover in the afternoon today as compared to yesterday, but still really nice. Comfortable in the dew point department and temperatures will be kind of in the mid to upper 70s, a couple of 80s out there. But things are going to change for Friday and the beginning of the weekend. So we're going to see the remnants of Debbie move through our area. So we're going to have a lot of rainfall kind of in two rounds one on Friday morning and then a heavier round of rain Friday night into Saturday morning. We're going to watch for the potential of some flash flooding here just because we are going to see a lot of rain, get a lot of tropical moisture associated with that system. But we'll start to see Debbie move out pretty quickly as we get into the afternoon on Saturday and we'll see some sunshine. So temperatures will jump up into the mid 80s, still pretty humid. I do think, though, if you want a guaranteed nice weekend day, that's going to be Sunday, okay. but a little bit breezy in the afternoon. So just keep that in mind. But I think we have a nice stretch coming up. Thank yeah. you so much for having me on the morning. Of course, thanks for week. being here. I fit right in. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.